Retro Requiem. Welcome back to this week's, okay guys, say it with me, Would, Would you, you Play It? it? Woo! <laughs> okay, and I'll just start off by saying that Brian is not with us today, it's a sad day. Actually, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, it's but pretty good. It's the time of the month, so. Yeah, he's, he's in the toilet. Okay, um, so today I have Peter. Hello. I'm very somber. And Dean. Hello. Hello. And I'm Andrew. I'll be the host. These two are competing for uh, points and... <laughs> it's not competing if I've already won. Uh-huh. Okay, Peter. You're a little too confident. You get dug dug enough points right now. Okay, so the first game on the list is Kirby Triple Deluxe for the 3DS. Dean, would you play it? <laughs> yeah, so this game actually looks uh, really good. I haven't played a Kirby game since, like, original Game Boy, so it would be a good game to, uh, you know, get back into it. I don't have a DS, but that's not relevant. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I like the answer. Like the answer. So, Peter, would you play it? I would play it because it sounds like if all you do is just say Kirby Deluxe with a side of fries, it could be something I'd eat at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> what? I like the creative answer, and I'm giving it to Peter. Peter, right. 150 points. Dean, 200. It also yeah. goes. With the theme. <laughs> <laughs> it also goes with the theme that Kirby eats stuff yeah. for all of his games. It's triple deluxe, though. That's like a triple stack burger right there. That's In a, Japan, it's called meat. medium. Medium. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, I, I would definitely play uh, Kirby de- triple deluxe myself. But uh, I yeah, like Dean, I haven't played a Kirby game forever. And so I think it'd be a fun time uh, to get back into it. Just play it on a road trip or something. Okay, next game we have is the God of War Collection for Vita. Is it all of them? I think it's only the first two. That's not much of a collection. Yeah, really. yeah, I know. It was like the original collection when you first had the God of War collection. It was only the first two, and you're like, really? The God of War Saga is the one that has all like six yeah. games or whatever. Well, when I hear the word collection... I know. I assume. It's a collection of two. <laughs> but it's yeah. a saga. It's different. Hey, okay. check out my collection of stamps. That's two... You know, two stamps. They were rare from... stamps, though. They were good stamps. <laughs> it's like, what kind of collection is that? A collection has to start somewhere. This is my collection of salt shakers. That's okay. just two salt shakers. So, Peter, <laughs> would you play it? I already have the freaking Saga on PS3, so... I mean, I, I wouldn't want to rebuy it just so I could play it on my Vita. That's a very honest answer. <laughs> <laughs> I support it. Um, D. I mean, if I didn't have it already, you know, then I'd probably grab it for my Vita. But yeah, Very true. D, would you play the game. That's not the word. It. Ah, uh, you, you cut on to me. That you passed the test. <laughs> 250 points. Okay. Would you play it? Uh, no. Since I've already played the first two. If it was, if it was actually like a collection, if it was all three, I would because I never played the third one. Or if it was like the saga and it was all the games, I would definitely play it. But it's just one and two. So, no. Yeah, they should just put out God of War Saga on Vita. Yeah, I'm going to figure that. Um, I think, I guess it's a unanimous no for all of us then. <laughs> yeah. Because I own God of War 1 and 2 for PS2. I own God of War 3. And then I also own the Saga plus the PSP games. Why do you own them? <laughs> you own everything <laughs> twice. So there's really no need for me to buy this Vita game. But eventually down the lane, I'll probably just buy it to have them all. <laughs> <laughs> just like have every single God of War thing ever. I, I bet you they'll put out Saga on Vita too. So it's like, why are you going to buy it now? And they're going to eventually put out the better one. Probably, yeah. Definitely. Okay. So, a few weeks ago, we talked about MLB 14, the show, for PS3. But now, wait for it. We're going for the PS4. Oh, my God. And this is a big switch. I know, man. It's like the same, but on another console. And the graphics are a little bit better. Actually, they're a lot better. Yeah, they, they look, are, they look, they look the really awesome. The game does look graphically impressive. Yes. <sighs> But, again, it's baseball, so it's going to be boring. Um, Dean, <laughs> would you play it? I wouldn't play baseball in real life. <laughs> so, so, no. so you're saying you would play it? No, no. Oh, okay. I wouldn't. Let's just. I wouldn't play baseball. That's a universal statement. Just, okay. Uh, I will accept it. <laughs> I will accept it. Peter, would you play it? Baseball is America's sport, but that doesn't make it any less boring. <laughs> 
but you're Puerto Rican too, so double. Oh, you should, oh you should, that you should double love it. Roberto Clemente is not in there. <laughs> they could have an All Star team that's, from the that's, past. Yeah, that's true. You they, never should, know. They, should, they should take a note from the new UFC game. They're putting Bruce Lee in it. <laughs> DLC you get or Robert, MMA Robert or whatever. You know, what is it gonna be uh, like? To, toss in some Roberto Clemente DLC up in the. He's so broken. All the stats are two hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Every hit is a grand slam, even if there's no one else on the bases. Oh, uh, well. Dean won that round by bringing out that Peter is also Puerto Rican, so he should doubly love MLB. But again, he hates it. So they don't have no points. Roberto Clemente DLC. Why should I care? You're gonna buy. It could come out. Why would you want DLC? It's should... like telling Brian he should love it because of Negro League. <laughs> they, they could actually have that. I feel like they could. Um, they have farm league, so why not? Um, uh, I would play MLB 14. Um, I actually, the last one I got was, I think, 10, and I really liked it. It was the best baseball game I ever played. And uh, But it's like baseball. It's the same game every year, pretty much. So that's not saying much. Yeah, but now it's for PS4, so... But it looks so pretty. It looks pretty. I might play it. So, yes, I would play this game. Just wait one year and then buy it for $5. That I mean, that's probably what I'll actually do. I'm not going to buy it brand new. I'm not, I'm not that big of a baseball fan. Yeah, you just wait two months and the price has gone down. <laughs> Especially how the Phillies are playing right now. Okay, in other words. <laughs> so, this week, a game's coming out for the PS4 and Wii U. But, if you're a PlayStation Plus member, you're going to get it free. So, the game is, stick it to the man. Peter, would you play it? Um, I'd probably play it because I love platformers. I'm kind of conflicted in it because it's a very quirky game, but there's a very fine line to quirkiness, and it's not, you know, you have something like Psychonauts that's really quirky, but it's very charming, and Stick It to the Man kind of seems a little dumb. Because it's about bananas with gingivitis. <laughs> so, so it, it, too, too much of it from the trailer ends up feeling just like really corny, and I'm not 12 anymore, so... That kind of humor is not... I mean, I love a bunch of corny stuff, but it's just... I don't know. I mean, it looks... The mechanics of it seem like it'll be a fun platformer, but it seems really cheesy. But, I mean, it might end up being good kind of cheesy, so I'd give it a chance. And I guess that's all I have to really say. Quite the long-winded answer right there. <laughs> I mean, it looks cheesy, but I like cheesy, but not that cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> Of course. Just one yeah, slice yeah, of yeah, American yeah, 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 on there, 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 There's extra cheesy, <laughs> and then there's cheese with some pizza on it. You know? Oh, man. Cheese with pizza on it. <sighs> okay. Dean. I don't, I don't think I even asked you, have to ask you this question, but would you play it? I don't want to play no game about bananas with ginger white is. <laughs> no. Man, Peter might be right, and it might end up being a good game, but the voice acting in the trailer and just the way it looks, it looks like a game that is going to hold itself back. It'll, it might be a good game, but I feel like the setting and just the environment of, you know, the, the world that they've created for this game is bad and abrasive, and I won't enjoy it. Cause... Yeah, I, I think they've pushed everything a little too much trying to be yeah. quirky. It's like they even have like the art is supposed to be a little grotesque esque. It's you know, little, yeah. The bananas. Um, but have it, it, it's just, in it, space with telekinesis. It ends up looking kind of ugly instead of being something like, you know, Ren and Stimpy that was very grotesque, but it ended up being oh, very Ren enjoyable. Stimpy. You know, like the like I said, you know, something like Ren and Stimpy or like Psychonauts, you know, quirky and grotesque and these things there's a very fine line to it. Yeah. And it can hard it could be kind of hard they to went, uh, like about 20 feet past that line. <laughs> so, but Especially, I mean... Especially, uh, I just played Child of Light, and that was a very good platformer game. How was that, by the way? Are you writing a review? Uh, yeah, I'm going to review for it. Oh. Almost done. Play that game. I'm very excited <laughs> to read that there, dude. <laughs> um, myself, under any other circumstances, I would not play this game, because one, it just does not look like it would be a game that I would enjoy. But since I'll be acquiring it for free, <laughs> I will try it out. So you yeah, play some bananas, gingivitis. I will play some bananas, with gingivitis. Ah, so this brings us to our final game of the list. Generic, the genericing. 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, bound by flames. Don't let those dead walkers get you. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Dean, would you play it? I'm going to have to. I'm kind of screwed here. <laughs> I'm the one who has to review it, so yeah, I'll play it. But not by my own free will. Uh, I, I feel sorry for you. Don't worry. If it's good, I'll lie so you won't play it. I'll tell the internet. No! That's true, but I'll tell you it's bad, no matter what. I mean, I'm pretty sure every other website will review it bad if you review it. <laughs> no, it's it just looks so generic. Like I said, that's the enemies. The dead walkers. Yeah. The walking dead white walkers. Oh, yeah. It seems very uh, unique and not, <laughs> not stolen, stolen from at two at TV shows at all. Original <laughs> the character. Trademark. No. Hell no. But I have to, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love forcing you to do something. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> would you play it? Probably not. It's just a very generic sort of fantasy game. And, I mean, it doesn't look like it's a bad game. It just looks obscenely mediocre. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. So, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, the last game Spiders has done, which is the developer behind this, was Mars Logs, which, um, was an interesting, like, cyberpunk game on Mars. Is it, like, Lincoln Logs in space? <laughs> no, that have been probably awesome, though. <laughs> um, it was just very generic and looked like it had the same fighting style and just everything, like, this game possesses. So, again, it'll probably turn out generic and very mediocre. Yeah. So, um, I've been struggling with this game for a while now. <laughs> I just want an RPG for next gen, and this looks like an RPG, but not the one that I want to play. God, whatever you do, don't buy it day one. Oh, I'm not. Wait for the reviews. Um, Dean, if, if you say it's good, I will trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> I'll try and play it, but if you say it's bad, then no, I won't play it. Oh, God. Uh, so that, that wraps up our uh, Would You Play for this week, and... Uh, the winner, I would have to say, is Geo! Geo, how do you feel over there? I feel absolutely fantastic, Andrew. You know, hearing you guys talk about all these wonderful games, you know, even though some might be a tad bit mediocre, I feel as if, you know, anybody can enjoy them if they really needed to. So, or it, wanted to is rather. this like the cop out bull? Who wins? You, the viewer! I'll choke you. <laughs> you took my victory from me, and I will never forget this. Man, how does it feel, you. Dean? How does it feel getting your victory stolen from you? <laughs> oh, oh, I got Captain Spite hosting the game now, so I can't win. Uh, okay, guys, check us out on <laughs> check us out on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and don't forget LinkedIn, to... MySpace, uh, you. <laughs> we don't have the LinkedIn, MySpace. Uh, uh, what else do we have? Uh, those 1994 BBS boards. Check us out on like iTunes. I think we have a song track on there. I don't know. Nine Chan. I am us. You know, check out our AOL. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn, I can't think of anything. Yeah, yeah it's uh, oh our Google Plus page. Yeah, we got one of those. Don't you guys have a streaming page as well? Oh yeah, we do have streaming on uh, Twitch. Twitch, Twitchy Twitch. And those three other behind it that everyone knows about. Azubu. 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 <laughs> That's another Twitch. Is streaming. that an Aladdin character? That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's another streaming site. And you stream. That's another you streaming site. You guys aren't on Hitbox? That's another streaming site. Pretty good. And Salty Bets. Damn, Hitbox. Of course, Salty, Salty Bets is. Well, I think, I think Salty Bets is through Twitch. Is it? Yeah, Salty Bets. Yeah. I didn't know it. I don't know. I just mm-hmm. saw it. Well, so, there you go, guys. <laughs> yeah. Lesson here is go play the original Deus Ex, because it's amazing. Yeah, it's terrible. Don't listen to him. He's trying to troll you. Dean's like the devil. You don't want to listen to him. What? You want to play the second He's one. He's trying to mislead Just because I'm standing on a crossroads right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. See, yeah. you. See, see you next week. Give me your golden fiddle. <laughs>